Hey everyone, John Chow here from johnchow.com and today I have an unboxing and review of the new Catron K1 Mechanical Keyboard version 3. Let's go do it. Okay, here we go. We have keyboard, put that aside for now. We have the, uh, the keyboard layout for both the uh, Mac keys and the Windows key. Owner's manual. Okay, so what else is here? USB cable, looks about five feet. These are the additional keys to switch it over to uh, PC. The keyboard is right now set up for Mac. So if you wanna run a PC uh, keyboard, you will switch these keys. And this looks like the key extractor. So you wanna switch key, you would use this to extract the keys. Looks very nice. The base is made of solid aluminum. Doesn't flex at all, wow. On the front of the keyboard, you'll see this is the USB-C power right here. And then on here, we have the switch to go to Bluetooth or turn it off or power by cable, your choice. And here is the switch for Windows or Mac, depending on what you want to run. So you're running a Windows system, go here. Running a Mac, go there. Okay, let's, let's plug this in. It's a USB-C. Ooh, look at that. It lights up in a whole bunch of color. I'll turn off the light in a little bit so you can see it. But uh, hey, let's see how it sounds here. It's definitely quieter than the uh, K1 K2 keyboard I had a while ago. That's because the uh, the mechanical switches on this swing. It's uh, it's it's not the blue one. It's a different color. I'll, I'll take it off and you can see it. But uh, let me turn off the lights and you can see the RGB. Ooh, that is colorful. So to adjust the uh, this is the light switch here. It changes the patterns and stuff. And that turns it off. You can also get this uh, with just in white background, white lighting. Uh, $10 more, you get the full RGB. I figure, yeah, why not? You can change the color by holding the function key and just using the arrow, you can cycle for different colors. It's red. Yeah, which one you like? That looks kind of nice. Cool. Yeah, these one, it lights up as you type. The K1 comes with a 2000 milliamp battery. And that's enough to last a couple of weeks if you don't turn on the RGB lighting. If you turn on the RGB lighting, uh, you'll get about 10 hours. So uh, if you're gonna use the RGB lighting, I recommend you uh, plug it into the USB power. The Bluetooth, uh, allows you to connect up to three Bluetooth devices simultaneously. So I connect this to my MacBook. I can also connect it to my, uh, my iPad, my iPhone, or whatever, up to three devices. And you can easily switch between any of the device. Here's the profile compared to an Apple Magic Keyboard. As you can see, there, it's, 
it's very, very thin. It's so, uh, unlike the last K2 that I, that I had, where the keyboard was actually quite high, it took some getting used to, this one, this one is uh, pretty good. Yeah, it's quite comfortable. And it feels pretty much like the Apple Magic Keyboard, except it has a nice tactile feel to it. Yeah, very nice feel compared to say the Apple Keyboard. Yeah, it feels quite spongy. Yeah, very nice, very nice, much, much better. To change keys, all you need is this uh, key, key cap puller. Like this right now, this is a Mac key, Mac key layer. You wanna go to a Windows layer, you just pull out the uh, command key, like this, pulls it right out there. And then you replace that with the, with the out key in there. And pull out this one. And replace it with the uh, Windows key and there you go. Win and then replace that one up there, you got Windows keyboard. Here you can get a good look at the uh, the switches. These are the uh, amber switch. They're, uh, they're not clicky, they're quite silent, but they have a good tactile feel to it. Yes, definitely not as loud as the, uh, the blue switches, which is, which is good, which is good because uh, the blue switches work quite loud and so you will be able to use this uh, in a coffee shop and you won't be disturbing the person next door. You can see all the, uh, the Mac function keys on the, uh, on the top row here. So you can adjust your brightness, adjust your audio, volume, that kind of stuff. It also has a couple of extra buttons just for Mac. Like we have here the Siri button and a button for print screen. So instead of hitting Command Shift 4, I can just hit this to print screen. So hit that. And now I can uh, then print out a screenshot of my typing speed. As you can see, I'm not a very fast typist. Ooh, yeah, cool. So that's very, very nice having a dedicated print screen. So overall, yeah, I like it. I, I like this more than the, uh, the last uh, Keytron, the K2 that I, that I reviewed a while back. The main thing being that it, this, is, this is really, really thin. Like uh, it feels more natural for me. Like if, if you're coming from a, uh, a Magic Keyboard or coming from a, a laptop, you'll get used to this right away because uh, it looks, if you look at the keyboard layout, the keys are very flat, so it feels like a, like a laptop or a Magic Keyboard. Those of you coming from a regular uh, mechanical keyboard, you might, the flatness, you might take a little bit getting used to because uh, regular keyboard, you know, they got that concave curve that might fit your finger better. This is a, because it's flat, sometimes you might, you might miss the key. The travel, while the travel is much, much greater than a laptop or a Magic Keyboard, it is less than a standard mechanical keyboard. Uh, the travel is three millimeter. Uh, a standard mechanical keyboard is about four millimeter, but it, it still feels very good. Uh, has a nice spring to it. And uh, overall, I, I really like the low profile. It's, it's very, very comfortable to, to type and it is, yeah, the aluminum housing, it is really solid. There's no way you could bend this. Like it's made of solid aluminum. For $84, this is a pretty good deal. And like I said, if you wanna, if you wanna save $10, you can just get it in the white or clear backlit instead of the RGB, 10 bucks more for the RGB. So $74 for the white, $84 for full RGB. And it's also available as a full 104 keyboard, 104 keys, so which will add the, uh, the numerical keypad here, 104 keys. That's a little more money. Uh, I don't, I hardly ever use that. So I went for the 84 key, 10 keyless keyboard. I like it because uh, I like to put this keyboard right in front of me dead center and having a, well, you know how having the, the keypad pushes off to the side, so you're typing off to the side, so yeah. The link to buy the Keytron K1 version three is below this video. Uh, yeah, overall, I like it. And uh, much a big improvement over the Magic Keyboard and it costs less money than Apple's Magic Keyboard. So if given a choice between that or this, I'm gonna pick this. John Chow from Thank you very much for watching this review and unboxing. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like it. 
please like and share my video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time.